What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing a gear set uh, today on a Sterling 10.5 and wanted to do a little video in, in the middle of it of uh, the installation of our Ford factory e-locker and kind of the component placement for the bulkhead and uh, just maybe a few things that may help aid in setup when you go to put yours in. So let's get into it. Okay, here's the, uh, the Sterling rear end. We have uh, set up the gears and everything already, so um, pinion is installed, and I really wanted to just go over kind of three key components. One being uh, how the e-locker ears uh, are installed, two, the bulkhead placement, and three, um, we used a nitro gear and axle install kit, and they come with a spacer that's about uh, 0.150 uh, inches thick, uh, so about 150 thou. And that spacer is intended to go behind the pinion bearing race um, on the inside, the big one. And uh, that's because the gear set we use is a 513 uh, thick cut, and you have to use a 10.25 install kit, um, which has the 10.25 bearings for the pinion um, to be able to use the thick cut gears in this um, particular housing. Um, as for the e-locker, uh, it, it uses all different gear sets um, because of the way Ford uh, uses thick, thick spacers on the outside of the um, uh, ring gear or the carrier bearings, I should say. So anyways, um, here is our factory e-locker, and you can see, just like an Eaton, they have these little ears um, that stop the rotation of this mechanism here. And those ears are going to sit on top of this uh, cap seat right here. So just be aware that when you install it, those are going to want to sit on top of this seat right here where the cap, the main cap, uh, gets retained. Um, and then as for the bulkhead, so, um, the location that I like to use is on the, if you're, if you're looking at the rear end, the upper left, there's a bolt hole that's just to the left, uh, above the top cap. And on the inside, you can see how that casting comes all the way down um, through the inside. And so what I like to do is come in from the inside and drill a pilot hole that goes just to the left of that uh, piece of material that is um, casted in there. It's a great location. It's, it's right in line with the factory uh, pigtail here. So... Um, and I'll, I'll show you that when that's installed, how it just clips right in. But uh, anyways, drill a pilot hole. Um, that pilot hole is going to be roughly a little over five-eighths of an inch. Um, I got 0 0.672. You could get away with 0.7 so just shy of three quarters of an inch um, off of center line to center line of hole keeping the hole relatively perpendicular um, to this outside plane here and so you can see you got to grind a little material and kind of massage this back section here to get that bulkhead um, to fit in there so but that's a great location it clears the caps the pigtail um, that comes on the e-locker will plug right in no problem and we sell a pigtail that goes on the outside that you just wire 12 volts to and you're good to go so um, after you get the hole drilled you'll have to drill and tap a 3 8 uh, coarse thread 16 3 8 16 coarse thread or fine thread, whatever your pleasure is, um, into the casting. And that is what is going to retain um, 
the bulkhead into the housing. So let's get the carrier in and you can see how the pigtail on the e-locker itself will snap right into the bulkhead. Okay, we got the carrier in, caps are all down, six thou backlash, we're good. So, a uh, little more detail. There's the ear and how it sits on that machine surface that the cap bolts to, um, and it doesn't allow this magnetic actuator to actually spin. Um, and then secondly, you can kind of see down inside there, that is the plug and it is plugged into the bulkhead. The bolt's retained and fits nice and tight down in there. So there is room to use factory components in a Sterling that did not come with factory components. So. Just take your time, do the install uh, with caution and measure twice, drill once, and I think you guys will be happy with the outcome. So if you got any questions, feel free to reach out uh, to me personally um, via my website. You can share uh, or put comments uh, down below, um, concerns you may have. Uh, or if you just want to talk about the product and uh, get more details about it, um, be more than happy to answer any questions. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.